today I'm here for the men. So why women reject men? <clears throat> but before I go on to the details, I want to read what the Bible says about the creation of man. So <clears throat> what is the purpose for him creating us? That's men. So let's read Psalm 100 verses 3. Know that Jehovah is God. He is the one who made us and we belong. The word I want to emphasize there is belong to him. That's Jehovah Almighty. Therefore, everything that we do, we are meant to do to please him. He didn't create men for our own selfish or whatever reasons. He created us to glorify his name. God has created us and he expects nothing less from us. However, from the days, from the creation of Adam and Eve, so many things went wrong. We are not perfect. He, he, he has seen us that we've come out of the initial creation and then he sent his son to die for us, for us to be able to ask for forgiveness of our sins, for us to do better and act according to the initial creation. And that's why he sent his son, Jesus Christ, who is called the Messiah, for we to emulate how he wants us to behave, how he wants us to think, the things he wants us to do, how he wants us to treat others. Talking about others, that takes me to the point where a man had decided to say, okay, you know what, it's time for me to get married. How am I going to treat the lady I want to get married to? So you can see from the creation of God to the purpose why he created us to the things he expects from us and what he wants us to do. I've seen so many things, so many stories, and we hear about women rejecting because the woman has a choice to reject, either say yes or say no. If you propose to a woman and or probably she, you, you've been dating her for long and you, she's, she hasn't given you signs for the relationship to move ahead, there are some certain things that is wrong with you men. The expectations of what will lead to the marriage boils down to we men. We have a lot to do. Talking about the reasons why women reject, why women don't want to take it ahead. As a man, what is your relationship with God? Are you the kind of person that you don't even understand the Bible principles? Are you the kind of person that you don't even read the word of God? How do you see God? Do you have times when you pray? Are you the kind of man that you don't even have the Holy Spirit inspiring you, admonishing every step that you make? So the first thing first for a man is to find himself in the atmosphere, in the, in the place where God can speak to him, where he can do the things and glorify God. That's the first thing first a man should possess. When you understand that that is what God wants of you, now you can talk about, okay, other things coming into it but unfortunately a lot of men don't even understand what it means to be a man now i don't come here to talk about crackhead women i'm talking about responsible women i'm talking about women that understand the kind of man they want i'm talking about a woman that understands that that knows what is right for her that has built up herself to the level of marriage that wants to get married that is a that is a dignified, virtuous, mentally stable, hard-working woman. A woman that's, that doesn't see you, in the, in the, that understands the Bible, that doesn't see you as a prayer person, wouldn't want to get married because she's scared and worried about, if I bring this person to my life, how is it going to affect me spiritually? How is it going to affect my spiritual growth? Because women always want to learn from us. Women always want to add knowledge to what they know. So the first thing first is your relationship with God. Now, let's talk about characters, attitude, what we stand for. Some of you men are lazy. Extremely lazy. 
In fact, the one that I found out of late is fast rise to making money. Fraudulent, dubious ways of making money, which is becoming a trend, which is becoming nobody wants to work hard to get that success. Everybody wants a quick, fast money. A lady that sees such attitude in you would definitely not want to get married to you, even if you have all the money in the world. Because she's asking herself, if you cannot trust the process, the one makes you think and trust the process of marriage. If you cannot believe that your hard work will get you to where you will get to, if you cannot get up and search for something to do, if you cannot get up and believe that laziness is not for a man, and I'm not just talking about financial laziness, I'm talking about mental laziness. Some of you don't even want to, probably after BS, you don't want to engage yourself in reading the word of God. That's part of reading as well. Some of you don't want to get more certificates. Some of you don't even want to equip yourself with trying to study more. You're comfortable believing that, well, this is, this is who I am now. Well, I don't... Even if anything you want to do in this life, it's always good for you to get certificated. It's always good for you to read more, study more. Laziness. Some of you are so lazy that even to even do chores for yourself in the house, you can't. It is not, marriage is not about slavery, it's partnership. Both of you are coming together to take care of yourselves. Some of you have spirit, you have, oh God, you have this ideology of entitlement. You feel the woman is meant to be the one to take care of you, meant to do the physical chores and all that. A lady comes to your house, you can't even clean. Your house is dirty. Your, your house is messy. You can't take care of yourself. Grown up man. Some of you are chronic, perpetual liars. Liars from the pit of hell. You can lie to the extent that somebody that is dead will wake up and say, Ah! Bros, what's up? Why are you lying like this? Constant lying. And they study quantitative analysis of lying in 2015. I read a report saying, as found out that when people lie, when you lie to people or you lie to a girl, it bridges trust. Now, why would a girl want to put herself in that situation to marry somebody that she can't trust? A girl that knows her value, that knows her worth, will not end up getting married to a man like that. Some of you lie from the beginning. What you don't have, you lie about it. You're not honest. You don't tell the girl the nitty-gritty of how things are with you. You want to paint a picture for the girl to, to believe that you're someone of which you're not. Because no, ma no matter how you, if you start a relationship with lies and all that, you can get away with it for, two, for a very long time. But trust me, those lies will end up catching up with you. Because you have to lie, you have to give a lie to cover the other lie and so on and so on. And when the girl sees that, she's like, I don't want to spend the rest of my life with somebody like this that cannot be honest with me. Some of you lie about your finances. You lie about, you even decide to post things that is not who you are. A clueless, non-ambitious man. Oh yes. As a man, you have to be ambitious. You have to know what you want to do. You have to know what you're getting to. You have to know your plans. You have to know what you what you what you're looking forward to in the next 10 years 15 years you know some of you don't have plans you don't even know what you want to do a woman is asking you so where are we what's the plan um to even stay put and even focus on a job is difficult you're jumping from one place to another oh yeah, don't worry in the next four years mouth you can you can brag you can talk from now to tomorrow no results not goal oriented you can't stick to one and you can say okay you know what this is what i want for myself you're just comfortable with just probably doing petty things a woman that wants a lot for herself that believes she has a value would not want to get married to a man like that the one that's it's very, very, um, it's, I know they will say men are born to be like this, but I totally disagree because we in life, God, just like I said, Jesus has sent his son to die for us. So even if 
we believe that Satan is the person that is ruling the world, we can still try to do what is right through the word of God and the Holy Spirit. Some of you men are cheats and promiscuous. You think being promiscuous is just for women? No. Some of you are cheats. Cheating. Cheat. Cheat. Chronic cheats. The kind of cheat that they should give you PhD. The kind of cheat that they should award you and say, ah, best cheater. Promiscuous men. Your plan is to get married to a girl. You have like two, three other girls on your low. Some of you are so bad that even while you're in the relationship with the girl, you're doing it to her face. No iota of respect, no iota of value. And it's so bad that the ladies have decided to say, well, it's, it's a norm. No, it's not a norm. It shouldn't be so. It shouldn't be so. If you're a, if you're a disciplined and an obedient man to the word of God, it is not easy. Yes. Because we have so many women out there that even when you want to be a, a man that doesn't want to cheat, they still want to lure into all these things. But you can do it. Chronic cheats. Promiscuous men. Looking for what is not lost. Looking for women that they want to divorce. And when she sees all these things, you think she wants to get married to you? Hell no, she won't. And if you're, if you're in a relationship right now, you're watching this video and your man is a cheat and you know you're planning to get married, don't do it. Except you have the conviction that God has spoken to you and you know in your heart that it's going to change. But then again, there's, I, I don't want to believe, well, the only way I believe that people change is through the word of God and through the Holy Spirit. But if you're in a relationship like that and you know the man is cheating and is promiscuous, why do you want to end up being with somebody? You want to... You want to face depression all the rest of your life? You want to keep wondering yourself, who, who is he chatting with? Who is he talking to? Why? Why would you want to do all that? A woman that knows what she's doing will not end up with a, with a man like that. Some of you are very rigid and not willing to have an open mind. No, this is what I know. Closed-minded human beings. Closed-minded men. No, you, she, she, you, don't, you don't want to see her social views about things. Every time she's bringing up something up, you're shutting it down. You believe, you know it all. Mister, I know it all. I too know. ITK. She brings up something to you, you're like, well, that's not what it is. You don't, you, even to even say, okay, you know what, some of them will even say, okay, why don't you maybe change your venue or change your location? No, you're, you're scared. Close mindset. You can't have a conversation without you not shutting down our own ideas judgmental people that you know that you at some point when you are doing some certain things and probably it's not going your way you are like well is you are judging others blaming her you know close-minded people people that they can't they can't have an open mind to a conversation they are going to flip it up they know it all she can't even give you an idea she can't suggest something to you and guess what women are blessed with a very good intuition they are. But that's the way God created them. The reasonable ones though. You are not ready to even learn. You are not ready to, to, to believe that people think differently from the way you think. You always want to see it one way. One way. One way. It's that way that you see. That's how it is. Nothing else. That's a woman that says that I don't want to get married to a man like that. Another one I want to talk about is selfish, egocentric, and narcissistic men is all about me is what i want extremely selfish narcissism topic is another topic for another day it has a lot probably one of these next videos I and my wife will talk about narcissistic behavior because it can also be found in women as well selfish men ego pride some of you, God has established you, you've done so well for yourself. You begin to talk to the woman anyhow you, because you believe that oh well. She doesn't, she's, she's not in the level that you are in. Selfish, self-centered. You always put yourself first. Always thinking about yourself. You don't want to even be bothered about how she feels. Always thinking about, oh, well, I come first. It is me or it is me or me. 
no one else matters. Your relationship with people become first. Everything, selfish, selfishness, very despicable behavior. Even when you people are eating, you're being selfish. Even when it comes to petty, petty things, you're selfish. Always putting yourself first. And a woman that, 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 that wants to get married sees all this kind of behavior, definitely she will walk away. She will not want to get married to you because she's, she sees that everything you do is about yourself. You want to make a plan. You're not trying to fit a plan into what you want to do. You're not considering her job. You're not considering what she likes. You're not considering how she feels. Women are built to be loved. That's what the Bible says. Some of you are very unappealing, unapologetic, and not romantic at all. You are not even... You, 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 it's when, when you're wrong, to say the word sorry is a big problem. No romantic messages no women like to be loved like to be pampered you know lo they love when you are when you make them queens some of you can't even show affection every time it's always like i see they are, they are you are frustrated no romantic calls no little, little gifts. No words of encouragement. No words of showing the woman that you value her. Nothing like, oh, I love you, baby. No petty words. You can't even make a woman laugh. And women love to laugh. You can't make them laugh. Every time is always frustration, quarrel, issue. Some of you, no, no. Nothing like good morning messages, good night messages. Or some of you will even start it. No consistency. First, first month, second month, that's the one that is common. After third month, fourth month, you have stopped sending those lovely messages. It has to be a consistent thing. It has to be something that you do. Consistency is key for women. You can't just do this today and then tomorrow. No. And loving somebody is loving God. So it boils down to the first thing I first said that how are we supposed to glorify God in our attitude and the things we do? So for you to even love a woman, how would you want to love a woman when you don't even love God the Almighty? Because if you love God the Almighty, you will do what He wants you to do. You will act according to what He wants you to do. So if you don't have that understanding of that kind of a love, the undiluted love, unconditional love, agape love, a love that you know that yes, it's real, it's genuine. How do you want to love a woman? I'm going to be very, very blunt about violence and abuse. Violent people. Any small thing you've raised your hand. Ladies, if you're in a relationship and you know that so this is the second one, the cheating one I told you, yes, don't condole it. If you're in a relationship and the guy is abusive and is violent to you, end the relationship. Some of you are beating blue black. Any small thing. You're already on top of your voice. Talking about this, talking about that, making her feel less of herself. They can, any point, they've landed slap. And the funny thing is that some of you, when you beat women, you don't fight out, you don't fight your fellow men outside. Though. If you are in that kind of a relationship, please walk away. Why would you be beating a woman and you expect her to still get married to you? Except that lady doesn't know her value, she doesn't know her worth. That's when, because, and the thing is, study has also shown, not me, that when people do that, they don't change. And once a man starts beating you once, he's going to continue doing it. <laughs> you have turned that into sex slave, sex machine. Well, I've told women, if you're in a relationship like that, close your legs and stop it. We must go back and try to do it the way God wants us to do it. We must have the spirit of love. We must constantly pray. We must know why God created us, the purpose for why He created us. 
we must glorify his name and we must emulate Jesus Christ the way he was while he was on earth we must respect women we must value them we must show them love we must show them that we care about them we must not be lazy we must be very ambitious but not too ambitious we must not take our work some of us are workaholic a woman that sees you as somebody that always want to work 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 she will be bothered about time you create for her she will not want to get married to someone like that prioritizing your time Yes, you won't want to be ambitious, but I'm not saying be over ambitious and you won't have time for her. Because women love attention a lot. They love care. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Thank you so much for always subscribing. For people that keep watching, that are dropping comments. We have some subscribers that are always watching. We truly appreciate you guys. Please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and spread the good news. Life Bites is all about impacting, motivating, and inspiring people to become better. Subscribe. Mm. Hmm? Don't you like what we are doing here? Share. Subscribe. It won't cost you anything. Just click. Beep, beep, beep. Subscribe. That's all. Bye-bye.